Hey guys, what's happening? Niat here with Film and Comics Explained, and today we'll be taking a look at the Vastatosaurus Rex that was featured in Peter Jackson's 2005 epic, King Kong. Described in the world of Kong, a natural history of Skull Island as an extremely large species of theropod, the Vastatosaurus Rex was one of the largest territorial predators found on the island. The creature was essentially an evolved descendant of the Tyrannosaurus rex that lived after the Cretaceous period, going on to reach a height of over 24 feet and measuring about 55 feet in length. Though the beast weighed in at approximately 12,000 kilograms, the keen hunter was still quite nimble on its feet, reaching speeds of over 25 miles per hour over short distances. As mentioned before, the V-Rex was in essence a representation of what the T-Rex could have become if it had been allowed to develop relatively undisturbed for the 65 million years that followed their extinction. Though they still retained major similarities to their Cretaceous cousins, the voracious hunters had also developed a few unique features over the 65 million years. Now, the V-Rex featured a large head composed of dense bone that was thicker, stronger, and bulkier than that of their T-Rex cousins. They also sported a thick leathery hide that protected them from general impacts during battle, enabling them to take a beating from the Mega Primatus Kong. Their enormous mouth was filled with rows of razor sharp teeth that were constantly being regrown to replace any that were lost during combat, and as their primary weapon, their heads often showcased scars revealing their history of violence. Though they had enormous legs that were used to propel them forward and maintain their balance, much like their T-Rex cousins, the V-Rexes featured underdeveloped forelimbs that were relatively useless in battle and were only ever used to give them a better grip when chewing on their food. While the juvenile V-Rexes would cluster in thick jungle interiors, hunting in packs to overcome their size limitations, the adults were known to mostly hunt in the open lowland areas where they could move more freely. The males would also stake a claim to the open territories, while the females sought areas that were great secluded nesting places. As fierce territorial predators, the adult V-Rexes suffered no rivals in roaching into their hunting grounds, which were regularly marked with feces. When approaching another's territory, neighbours were able to learn much of the owner's physical condition, purely from the smell of their poo and the sound of their roar. Even with these clearly demarcated lines, conflict often ensued between rival hunters, which would usually end with a roaring contest, followed by a territorial battle if the matter wasn't resolved by then. In saying that, the adult V-Rexes were quite tolerant of juveniles that would often follow the more experienced hunters from a distance, learning what they could, whilst also salvaging the remains of creatures that had been slain by the adults. Because they were hunters, the creatures often employed ambush tactics, using cover in and around waterholes and forested areas to surprise their prey. As one of the top predators on the island, the V-Rex had a limited but notable ability to problem solve, often displaying the ingenuity to move around large objects that obstructed its path towards its prey. In the film, there's this great scene with the V-Rex that is trapped in the vines, and after noticing the damsel in distress in front of it, the ingenious problem solver started to push off the walls, using momentum to get closer to its prey. I also think that one of the most fearsome aspects of the V-Rex was its seemingly limitless stamina, which enabled the hunter to maintain pursuit of its prey for extended periods of time. They were also voraciously unrelenting in their pursuit, and once they desired to eat you, nothing short of death at the hands of the mighty Kong would stop them from achieving their goal. Well that's all for today folks, thanks to all of you guys who requested we take a look at the V-Rexes featured in King Kong. If there's any other stuff you'd like me to check out, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film and Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by.